From Tehachapi to Bakersfield to across the world, Marley's Mutts has spent over a decade uplifting dogs and never giving up on them. Marley's Mutts came about after a nice little battle with end-stage liver disease. By the time I was 17, I was an everyday drinker, started using heavy drugs. The darkest day was in the spring of 2008. I was diagnosed with end-stage liver disease. And I was going to die in 90 days without a liver transplant. To qualify for a transplant, Zach had to be sober for six months. I ended up in six hours sober, much less six days, weeks, or months. They sent me home basically on hospice. What happened for me when I got home was, was suicide. Suicide became my number one enemy. I walked into the bathroom and as I passed the mirror, I was shocked at what I was confronted with. I just thought this is my rock bottom. There's no reason for me to be here. I can't do this anymore. And then I can feel my dogs looking at me behind me. And I, you know, I look back at them and all three of them, Marley, Tug, and Buddy, are looking up at me. They just saw dad. They just saw the guy that had rescued them and they just saw the person that they wanted to infuse some positive energy in. That day we just decided that if I couldn't live for myself, I was gonna try and live for them. And every day we got a little bit better. So we just started walking in the mountains. I started to add dogs to my pack. One dog became three, became five, became 15. I started throwing myself into rescuing dogs. And by the time I had six months of sobriety, I no longer needed a liver transplant and Marley's Mutts was born. Shadow was rescued by Marley's Mutts. Marley's Mutts loaded up a van with dogs from Kern County Animal Services. The Mojave Animal Shelter is empty. Over $2,000 raised. A French Mastiff brutally mutilated is getting a second chance at life. Marley's Mutts is now taking in Diamond, a pit bull who was shot by a deputy on Center Street. More than 172 small breed dogs are on their way to the East Coast right now, all thanks to Marley's Mutts. Marley's Mutts is back from Houston after rescuing 40 dogs and cats from the destruction of Hurricane Harvey. Marley's Mutts is proving there is hope for animals whose hind legs no longer work. Marley's Mutts dog rescue took her in when nobody believed she would make it. We rescue the unrescuable. Marley's Mutts is all about getting Kern County Animal Shelters back to no-kill status. Marley's Mutts Dog Rescue is expanding plans of turning it into a rescue ranch. Scow says it's perfect and says it'll be more than just a rescue. And his rescue animals have been used in therapy and even prison inmate programs. Marley's Mutts taking dogs inside prison walls to create positive change. A 12-week program meant to heal men and mutt. It was the best thing that happened to me in prison. Today, positive change was recognized at the White House. Kern County will recognize Marley's Mutts as nonprofit of the year. We were awarded the Red Cross Real Hero Award in 2011. We were featured in Oprah's magazine. We've been in People magazine. A local Tehachapi dog getting big honors as he's named the 2016 American Hero Dog. After months, the international rescue effort, dubbed Mission Possible, is a success.